And so anyway, um, I, I took the train, and I remember my mom came with me to say goodbye. And just, all uh, my ex-husband wasn't with me then, he was going to follow me. And she said, she said, I don't think you, I'm going to see you again. I have a, I feel like you, you are going to escape. And I said, I don't know, Mom. I didn't want her to, to, to know. But that was your plan. That was our plan. Yeah. <coughs> and so anyway, I went down there and, uh, and talked to people there. And uh, we f I find somebody who was a professional who would be taking us across the, across the border. For a fee? For a fee. Oh, yes. Definitely, for a fee. So then I called... Um, I called my husband and told him, and uh, uh, you have to be careful what you say on the telephone. I just mm -hmm. said, well, I'm, I'm ready if you come. Um, this time would be a good time for you to come and, and to see me. I didn't see, but he knew what I was saying. So he came with his brother and his wife, and, uh, and, and that was an afternoon, and that evening on the 18th of December was snowing. And um, this guy who said he will help us, he came with a kind of a horse driving carriage, but it wasn't a carriage that was um, fancy. Was no, it was one of those what they use, or farmers use. Yeah, like a cart. Cart, yeah. yeah, that's it. So we all gave him money. He arrived about 5 o'clock in the evening when it was getting dark, <clears throat> and um, gave him all the money we had. And he said, fine. And then <clears throat> we, we traveled with him for about two hours. And we got to the railroad station, and you see the uh, railroad tracks. And he said, I can't go any further. You go there, cross the railroad tracks, and that's Austria. And we had no map. We had nothing. And he lied. Well, so yeah, so you so you know you're in Hungary. Do you know how close you were to the border? Yes, we knew that we were close, but I don't know. I that's we. I guess we trusted this man sure. that he knows where we're going. So what happened in that building, which was a small railroad station? Uh, Shandra went there, knocked on the door, and as I said, it wasn't late yet. Probably about seven o'clock or so. Mm -hmm or six something, and he asked him where we were, and then they said, this is, I can't remember the name of it, and, and they said, where is the border from here, <laughs> and he said, go, go around, walk by the river, and, and, and then you, you, you'll see some, you have to just go straight to the river, and then, then you will hear, you will know you will, you will get to Austria. You'll see a bridge or something? And, and they mentioned there is a bridge. You're right, there is a bridge. And and then from there, and I don't know what they said, don't go south or west from there, I don't know. And so we started just walking on the, by yeah, the road, river. Yeah, yeah. By, the, by the river. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and it was snowing. So anyway, as we were walking, walking many hours, I don't know. In the darkness. In the darkness. In the snow. In the snow. And all we saw these... Did you have a lot of luggage or anything also? No. no. We only... We had uh, all... The only the clothes what we had. Uh, I had one set of clean clothes with me. That's all No we food, had. no water. Nothing. Nothing. We were young. Remember I was yeah. 18? Mm -hmm. My husband was 28. We wow. walked and walked and we came to the bridge. It was a walk bridge. Just a, just a walk to bridge. It wasn't... It wasn't for cars or anything? For cars. And it must have been probably about 11 o'clock or so at night. Uh, and we walked across the bridge and we saw this little house, like almost like, uh, uh, like, um, uh, like a, when they build a house, build, builders, they have this little a hut? thing. Like, but it was just... It was a, a guard station. Or like a guard yeah, station, uh -huh. but it was very small. Yeah. It, couldn't have, it was smaller than this room. Yeah. Yeah. And with a little window, and my husband was always the first one who walked ahead, and he, and he said, hmm, like this. I mean, I, I, we could see on his face that his eyes are out, and he, 
I mean, because there was a little bit of a light inside there, so you could mm -hmm. see his face, and he said, well, because we all, well, he, like this, he said, actually, and we all looked in, and there was two Russian guards. We knew, <gasps> we knew that they were Russian because of their uniform. Oh, the uniform. And their legs crossed like this, and the uh, rifle crossed their legs <sighs> like this, and they were all asleep. Thank God, because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't. Later we find out why they were asleep. So anyway, we all, all five of us ran into the nearest house, which was like... So you crossed the bridge at that point? Yeah, we, we crossed the bridge, but mm -hmm. we went the wrong way. We should have... On gone, the other side, you mean? Yeah, we should have gone the other way, but we didn't know. Mm -hmm. So we crossed the bridge, we saw these guy, this guys, and then there was a house, just like across the street, there was a, that close, there was a house, and we hide behind the house. So as I said, it was about 11 o'clock. And uh, Chandra said, he, he and his brother, Domi, they, they hope to find somebody, somewhere lights on, to talk to somebody and ask, where are we and where is the border? We knew that we have to be close to the border. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, two, a, a couple was coming shortly after, um, probably 10, 15 minutes later, they find this couple who were coming back from the border, from the Austrian border, and they had just taken a group of people across, and they asked, because we had no money by then, but they, anyway, they asked if, we, we had some jewelry, a uh, ring and uh, necklace and bracelet, things like that, we could give it to them, but they said they're too tired, they're not going to take us, but they told us to go, there is a light, follow the light, be careful not to s step on Okna um, mines, mines, because there was mines. Huh, how do you yeah, know? How do you, how do you never it know? It was just a lock, mm -hmm. you know, you, either you do or yeah. not. And they said, go there, it won't be probably, they said, 10, 15 minutes walk. It's not far, but don't go So anywhere. the river was not on the border then? No, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. And. Um, not at, not at that place, it mm -hmm. may have been up yeah. higher, <coughs> up, I mean, up north, and <coughs> so, he, but they said, don't go any further than that building, that's a, a, a model, um, uh, it was an old place where they um, grind up, a, a mill, yeah, a yeah, mill. Yeah, yeah. thank you, a mill, and um, don't go further, because about 50 feet from, well, I would say 100 feet or so, there is the border and you will see the Russian soldiers. And it was a cornfield, sure enough. We got to that building, luckily, we didn't, we didn't get blown up. And we walked into the building and there was an Austrian couple, older couple, and they spoke some Hungarian. And, it, and I think that used to be hungry, that area. Oh Hungary. yes, it was. Yes. Anyway, so they spoke Hungarian. And they gave us a cup of tea and they said, wait, because now in a few minutes, it was midnight when we got there. In a few minutes, from the nearest village, the, our sins are coming to get us. Uh, because there, this was happening apparently for um, over a month now or so, mm -hmm. well over a month. And they're going to take us to the nearest village. And sure enough, we had a cup of tea and we, we sat there and rested and they came. And then we walked again to the nearest village, which, I don't know, was four or five miles. No, it wasn't, four or five kilometers or so. Maybe even less, I can't remember. It was a short walk. But we saw the Russian soldiers in the, in the cornfield. cornfield yeah. Old corn, you know, dry mm -hmm. or corn. It wasn't mm -hmm. corn anymore, but right. it looked like a cornfield. Yeah. And uh, so we just kind of sneaked. I mean, we were in, a, in, in Austria, but... We were very afraid. Well, how did you get pa over the border, though? You so you're in this mi old mill, waiting for some Austrians to come collect you. And that was that was Austria already. Oh, it was okay. It was Austria already. But then, so this was the mill. But then, the, right there was Hungary. See the 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 border. You can see here. It's it's not straight. Not yeah. straight. It's, yeah. it's like that. So that that's the <clears> danger about. Yeah, it's interesting to see Texas. <laughs> 
Yeah. 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 Well, 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 we, 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 <laughs> yes, it, uh, this is different. Um, so anyway, so you get it so through we, the Russian soldiers. So we, we ask, yes, and so we got to this uh, church, and it was a school building, and it was, of course, Christmas vacation, 18th December. And we were able to, we, we, in the gymnasium of the school, they had um, straw on the, on the ground. Oh. And we got, they got, uh, we gave, we, we got some blankets, and we were able to go uh, sleep a little bit. And the next morning, that's interesting. Next morning, just right next to us, an older couple, to us, everybody was old that mm -hmm. time, and they must have been forty-ish with a little, with a, with a child with them. And they asked, "Well, how did you, which way did you come?" And we told them that we saw these Russian uh, soldiers asleep and they said well you locked out because they were looking for there was three girls two of us 18 and one 22 and all Ava all three of us Ava anyway um, he, they were looking for vodka and woman and of course this woman was older late 40s probably 50 and woman looked older that time at age 50 you know? and because she was a grandma already and she said, well, they let us cross because we gave them vodka. Oh, so that's where they were sleeping. And that's why <laughs> they, were, they were drunk. They drank the vodka and this was our luck if, for this couple. It's interesting that they, we heard that right next to us.